I love that Netflix brings such a plethora of documentaries to the platform. Now, not all of them are awesome, but the information is typically very interesting. The newest one to arrive is Keep Sweet, Pray and Obey, and it tells the story of the FLDS and Warren Jeffs. Are you ready for this one? In 2008, a dramatic raid at the Yearning for Zion Ranch in West Texas generated attention around the world as law enforcement agents uncovered shocking evidence of sexual, physical, and psychological abuse and took over 400 children into custody. So this is a four-part docuseries with each of the episodes being around 50-ish minutes. Now, typically, that's really long for a documentary. And when I saw that it was four episodes, my immediate reaction was, mm, I'm not sure how much I'm feeling this. I mean, the story and the content, it better be engaging. Well, it is. The storytelling of this real-life horror is very captivating as we are shown through interviews and home video footage the inner workings of the FLDS community that was eventually led by Warren Jeffs. Now, I'm not going to hit on many spoilers, but because this is a true-life tale, a lot of the information is already out in the public sphere, so I am going to touch on things that may seem like spoilers. The accounts unfold from very personal perspectives, being told by former members of the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or FLDS, and their community. And the documentary lays a really good foundation for anyone that is unfamiliar with this religious sect and does an effective job of not necessarily vilifying the way of life, but more so painting a picture of how life actually was. The interviews, especially at the beginning, tell the positives of their way of life, how polygamy felt ordained and normal, and it was actually beneficial to many of the families. But then we get to hear the other side of the story, where unhappiness reigned and dysfunction abounded. And then it gets pretty tough to hear, as the stories transition from strange to downright reprehensible. The interviews give first-hand accounts of the young girls that were given as wives to the men in the community. And typically, these girls would be one of many several wives of just one man, who was then often much, much older than the girl being given. This outlines the power structure and the hierarchy of the FLDS, and how it shifted and grew even more disturbing when one prophet died, and then his son, Warren Jeffs, took over as prophet. And at this point, it becomes absolutely heinous in the behaviors and actions that were undertaken in the name of religion. The stories are stomach-turning, but also wildly infuriating. But this doesn't fall into the trap of sensationalism. The story remains grounded, giving us the facts and then playing out like a crime mystery as more and more of the disturbing facts about Jeffs are uncovered. I found it especially intriguing as to how so many people continued to follow Jeffs and his teachings even after the crimes were uncovered. And I guess that really points to the relevance of this documentary series. Does it actually hold any pertinence for today? I mean, I think the real problems and questions this addresses is when a small group or a singular person is granted so much power, combined then with limiting the access to information for those that are under the power. What effect does that have on those people that are under the control? Now, that's a scary but real question that plays out in our society today. I mean, that's how dictatorships are allowed to thrive and flourish. You limit the access to information of those that are under rule. And that's how Jeffs was able to do what he did so effectively. And he didn't do it all at once, but instead slowly rolled out the changes for his plan. Now, some of the foundation was already laid there by his father, which the documentary does do a great job of examining. But Warren amplifies this to the nth degree, leading to horrifying results. I think what really helps to make this series impactful is all of the home video footage that is shown, because it allows us to see and hear the words directly from Warren Jeff's mouth. I mean, it's not hearsay, but him on camera or on tape stating his directives. Now, if you're familiar at all with who Warren Jeffs is, there were a number of criminal charges brought against him. But something that I found very disturbing, and I really wish that the documentary would have covered, was that there were so many others that were complicit in the crimes. But no mention whatsoever was brought up regarding charges or even investigation into these. Now, maybe the prosecutors chose not to pursue these charges, but I found it most odd that the documentary didn't even address it. I mean, even to say that no charges were brought, it just felt like a very odd omission in the narrative. I loved the mixture of home video footage, voiceovers, and interviews. Now, the interviews are intimate, typically within the subject's home, which then allowed them to just have this sense of safety to tell their full experience and then show real emotion. And the framing of the shots is great to look at as they're varied and maintain a good visual interest. Despite this being almost four hours long in total, the information was very captivating and intriguing. And it's also heartbreaking and then quite maddening at times. But the pace was pretty efficient, and the way that the story is unfolded for us keeps the linear storyline easy to follow and moving. 
My biggest complaint is how the question of charges for those complicit with the crimes of Warren Jeffs are unaddressed, but that's not a deal breaker for the series. So overall, Keep Sweet, Pray and Obey is a disgustingly interesting look at how power and influence can be corrupted to take advantage of those under said power. The interviews are intimate, personal, and effective in not only painting a picture of the horrors that occurred within the FLDS under Warren Jeffs, but also creating a cautionary tale of how this can happen when trust is taken advantage of and access to information is greatly limited. The cinematography is wonderful to look at, both in the establishing landscape shots and the personal interviews. And even if you're familiar with the Warren Jeffs case and the FLDS, this is an engaging account that I think you might find interesting. There's no sex or nudity, but there is some profanity and not really any violence shown, but there are horrendous descriptions and even audio of sexual assault that is just very tough to hear. Now, as a reminder, I don't give scores to documentaries, but I do highly recommend checking out Keep Sweet, Pray and Obey on Netflix. So are there any documentaries that you've watched lately that are worth checking out? I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.